Hi there, and welcome back. In the previous video, we went over how to change colors of the asset. And the challenge from the previous video was to change colors of the ground and the enemy. So if you did that, great job. We'll do that real quick. So let's select ground and let's select some brownish color. And for our enemy, let's select the enemy asset and click on the color. And we'll choose some red. And now we'll change the colors of all our assets. In this video, we're gonna add movement to our player. And before we do that, if we take a look at our scene editor, you can see that our enemy is going over our ground. And one way we can fix that is by selecting the ground and right clicking on our button and click bring to front. And that will bring our ground in front, which will hide the ends of our enemy behind the ground. And we can do the same thing for the bottom. Select it, bring to front. And now you can see that our game looks clean. And you can always click preview and see how the actual game is gonna look like. So let's exit the preview. And let's get that player moving. To add movement to our player, we need to go inside our player. And we can do that by either right-clicking and selecting Edit Node or by double-clicking on Player. And when we double-click on Player, we enter the node map. And this is the map that shows how this asset works. Like the name node map suggests, this map is made out of nodes. And what a node is, is this block right here. The node is made up of inputs, which are found on the left side and the outputs, which are found on the right side. We have a start node inside our player and our start node in the player has a created output and a collide. The animation node is the one that displays the circle. And we can see some of the options that we saw in the world workspace, the animation and the color, and there are additional options that are available here. To look at the flow of uh, the process, when the object gets added into our game, the start node is the first node that gets created. When the start node is created, we can connect other behaviors that we want our game to have. When the object is created, we want to display our circle. And that's why on created, we have the animation connected and that's what displays that circle. You can find all the nodes that are available in Billbox on the left side here and they're grouped into categories and you can expand any one of them and see what nodes are available there. And since we want our player to move to the right, we can go to the movement group and we'll add the move node. You can add any node by clicking in it and dragging it into our node map and dropping it. And now we can see the move node. The move node has an input enable, and when we enable it, that's when the movement is gonna start. And we'll turn on move right when the object gets created. To connect it, you can go and click on the output connection of created, and drag it into enabled input. To set the direction of where we want the circle to move, we can select a move node and in our options, we can find speed option. And we have the X, Y, and Z direction. So in 2D world, up and down will be Y axis, and left and right will be X axis. We don't have Z axis in 2D world, so let's remove Z. And we're not looking to move our player in the Y direction, so we'll remove zero from Y direction also. And since we're looking for our player to move to the right, that will be x-axis. And if we want to move a right, that will be a positive number. And if we want to move to the left, that will be a negative number. So we'll set the speed of x to two. And to see how that works, we can click preview. And now we can see that our player is moving into the right. If you got this working, you can move to the next video 
And in the next video, we will be looking how to set the camera to follow our player.